This morning, as I spent time in prayer and in the Word, I was drawn to some familiar scriptures. One was in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. But then it was really verse 17 that was standing out to me. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world may be saved through him. And I began thinking about just the brokenness that's around us in the world. And uh, you, you look around and, and there's so much dysfunction and, and, and so much uh, family brokenness and, and, and crime and, and all these things that are around in our world. And, and then in BC, we have all these forest fires that are, are driving people out of their homes. And there's a, a different level of brokenness because of, of loss. And I began to think uh, how, how we reflect on this as the church and uh, when Jesus came not to condemn the world for brokenness and for things of sinfulness, he, he came to save the world. I was drawn to Ezekiel 37 uh, in the Valley of the Dry Bones where Ezekiel is taken out and, and he sees this valley and, it, and it's just full of bones and, and the Lord commands him to, to, to speak to these bones and he says, Son, a man, can these bones live? And he says, Oh Lord God, only you know. And, and God challenges Ezekiel to, to speak life in the midst of, of the bones and the brokenness. And, and as I was reflecting on these two scriptures this morning, I, I really thought this is, this is a picture of our communities, that, that, that God came not to condemn but to save. Uh, and in the midst of brokenness and, 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 and the dry bones that God has called us to be people of his word and speaking in faith for our communities and believing that, that God through us and through his divine acts can make a difference in our communities, can make a difference for our neighbors, can make a difference in brokenness and, and situations of divorce and where kids are hurting and, and God can make a difference. And he calls us to be those people who speak in faith. So maybe today you are in a place of brokenness. Uh, just hear God's word that, that he did not come to condemn sinfulness and brokenness, but he came to save us from it. That he wants us to be able to speak life over you over the dry bones of your life, the things that are dead, and he wants us to be able to speak life onto it. So if you feel like you're stuck in brokenness or sin, uh, or even distant from God, wherever you are, uh, know this, that, that he came, he was intentional to come with his love to save us and to speak life over us and to call us to himself for the purposes of his glory and for his kingdom. So today, uh, I pray that there'd just be something that would just shift in your heart or in your mind that you would take on just a new sense of the life that God has come to bring us so that we can live for him and live for his glory. God bless. Uh, join us at Sunrise, Highway 10 and 188, every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. And uh, we meet for pre-service prayer at 9.30. We would love to have you here uh, to pray and to see God impact the different people and the places that he has placed all of us. God bless.